you miss your big blessings because of your own family. Welcome back for another Real Talk video response back to you, Mr. Mark. Some of y'all are not going to like this video. And the very one that probably don't like it is the one who's been put in position to really move forward and get their blessings, but they miss it because of family. Let me show you where I'm going with this. You know, sad enough in a lot of families growing up, uh, some people, mother, may have died early, or daddy or whoever, grandmother that was taking care of them. And whether you the oldest brother or the oldest sister, you've been, you know, the load been put on you in so many ways. And your love that you have for everybody, you so attached to them. And just to be real, a lot of people holding on to dead weight. And some people hold on to people that just, as long as they can benefit off of you, they'll hang around you. As soon as they see they can't get nothing out of you, they're gone. And the reason why I'm saying this is because the problem in our race of people also is that too many of us trying to bring along folks that don't need to be with you. I know it's hard. I know, I know. I know that's your blood. I know that's kin. But when the Holy Spirit is, is showing you to do what he has you to do, to take you on the next level, he don't tell you to bring everybody else with you. That's what we feel in our heart. Well, I got to bring my little brother. I got to bring my baby sister. Or I got to bring. And a lot of times when you bring in them people that he didn't tell you to bring, they bring in a whole lot of mess with them. See, one thing I like about Abram in the Bible, which name was changed to Abraham. When he, most high told him, get out your father's house. Without a question of a doubt, he left. And notice he didn't tell Abraham, I need you to go back and get your little cousins, bring such and such. He said, you, get out of your father's house. Even when I look at Lot, his nephew, Lot got in trouble. See, when the Holy Spirit tells you, <laughs> I don't care if it's your own brother, your own sister. If he tell you I got something for you, you got to, you got to move around. Now, your family might not understand that. They may be mad at you. And you feel, well, I, I, I'm the big brother. I, 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 it's my job to take care of the, You got to listen to the Holy Spirit. Because if he said it's your time, it's your blessing, this is for you. What Yah has for you is for you. You got to move. You got to have that unction. You got to move with it. If not, you'll miss your blessings. You know how many people sitting there right now mad at themselves because they started letting people tag along that they didn't even need to let, let tag along? They start getting in all kind of trouble, expecting you to bail them out. They start needing more and more money from you, more and more of your time. And now you sitting back shaking your head saying, I should have went by myself. I let them. I let my feelings. Your own fam family will hold you back worse than anybody. Your own family could be your worst enemy. You can be your worst enemy. And I know this is, this is a tough message to take in, but you got to realize when he calls and, and chooses you or shows you the next level he's going to take you on, you got to drop some folks off. You got to let them go. Let them cuss you out. Let them be mad at you, but don't let them stop you from getting your blessing. They may understand it later on, or they may not ever, never understand it. But you are responsible for you. I know this sound like a uh, uh, man. It sounds like I, well, JT, this is just one of them. You don't give a damn message. No, just feel and hear what I'm saying. You're not supposed to bring everybody along. I tell people all the time, you know how many people can pave the way for others, but we won't even allow the one that's really got the gifts and the talents to get out there and open up that door. See, everybody's trying to open up the door at the same time. When there are certain people that the most high will place in your life, man, y'all better hear this message. 
certain people he'll put in your path and you miss it. Okay, right, I gotta get man, let me get let me give him a cousin in them. They're in them. Leave them in them at the house. Because real talk, a lot of your kin folks, they don't want to work no way. And it's sad that people that, that's got the blessing in front of them, they want to start letting the lazy ones tag along. Them bottom feeders. Woo. They like leeches. They, they drain you. They suck everything. They suck all the blood out of you. They on your back. You can't even go forward. Where you going? Where you going, huh? Where you going, nephew? Where you going? Where you going? Such and such. Let me go with you. Man, don't forget about me. Look out for me. Man, look out for yourself. Why you not trying to do what you need to do? See, you've been leaning and depending on kid folks so long. Now it's time for kid folks to elevate. And kid folks won't elevate because kid folks are holding on to you. Old folk would say you just holding on to dead weight. Dead weight. Now let's see how many going to receive this message. And just think about what I'm saying. Look at how many people missed it because of somebody else. And they had that big heart, that love. They 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 let their kin folks, they let their loved ones drag them so far down in the ground that they missed what was right in front of them. And I'm here to tell you, don't you miss it. 